Hey guys, I got my 84 Chevy Silverado truck out here that we have named Big Red. And uh, it's been sitting in this garage for several months because of the weather. It's always cold, raining, snowing, chances of hail, whatever. Seems like whatever's going around it. Everybody's, it's springtime. And there's, anyway, anyway, I had something really unusual happen to this truck. It, it kind of scared me, scared my wife half to death. But, uh. What what happened was uh, we was going to start it last week and pull it out, and I was going I was going to drive it, but uh, had a little bit of an engine fire. Believe it or not, an engine fire. There was flames, you know, little flames right here and right here. So my wife naturally grabbed a fire extinguisher and sprayed it on there. Of course, it burnt my breather here, but I mean it's nothing that can't be fixed. And you know, it's it's a dual snorkel, and it's nothing that can't be fixed. It did burn my little decal here, but you know what? It didn't burn the whole truck down. It could be much, much worse. I don't know what caused it. I was, she was going to pull it out, and I was going to film her pulling it out of the garage. Well, we heard the belt. Or I, well, yeah, we both heard the belt squeak, and uh I was telling Brian about it. That's GM1038 on YouTube. If you get a chance, please go check out uh, Brian, GM1038, GM space 1038. Please subscribe to his channel. He's really an intelligent person, and I'm proud to call him my friend because he's helped me out a whole bunch. But you can see these wires have melted, and, you know, Brian's not here yet. He's on his way. He's going to see if we can figure out what's happened to it, and I... He said the alternator might have locked up, and I, I've never had that happen, but that's not to say that it couldn't. So, and, you know, that's one thing, in, in, a, in a way, these, these new vehicles, they only have one belt. As you can see, this one's got two belts, and uh, I'm, I'm getting off track on it. But I was going to say, if you got two or three belt system going on with your engine, if one belt breaks, a lot of times you can keep going. But anyway, that kind of scared us. Of course, I never did start it back but uh i just dis always disconnect the batteries too by the way in case you're wondering on old vehicles you don't you never do know even with a new vehicle you don't ever know you hear about it on the news all the time but sometimes the vehicles just burn up brand new ones that don't even know why they done it so anyway as i said brian's coming over here and see if we can sort this mess out once again i want to stress to y'all uh, well, let me f start off first by saying I want to stress to you how blessed I am to have such good friends with Brian and and Tim Dixon at Gas Axe Chop Shop on Facebook. Uh, I'm just I'm just really blessed to have some good friends that that are willing to come help you anytime you call on them. So anyway, uh, what I was going to say is I'm blessed that it happened here at home as well instead of being somewhere else and maybe not have a fire extinguisher. I used to carry a fire extinguisher in my vehicle, and I think I'm going to buy some more and just stick them, in the, stick them inside the truck, you know, cab, whatever, somewhere in the floor just to have, because really you never do know. That makes, uh, I've had two in my lifetime that uh, uh, almost caught on fire, this being one. So, but anyway, it's something Brian said that he thinks he can have it fixed in 30 minutes, and so he's driving a pretty good distance to get to my house. So anyway, I, I appreciate I appreciate him. He's a really good guy. But anyway, in case you're new to my channel, this truck is a 305 uh, Chevy, of course. And uh, it's a pretty good truck. I really like it. Uh, I've had this just a little over a year now. I got it in 2019 in January. And I got it from Brian, actually, GM1038. He used to own this truck. I have to excuse the mess in the back. You know, when you have a garage and you and you sell things sometimes, uh, you know, uh, like on eBay or, or stuff like that, you know, you kind of save a few boxes when you get stuff. So that's what we've done. I, I've already ordered a new, got a new alternator. In case that's a problem. I got a new belt, too. Didn't know if I needed it. But, uh, hey, I was going to show you this, too. 
I knew I had more GMC parts, and this is it. Well, no, I've already showed you this. I found some more GMC parts for a mustache. I, anyway, this is it. If you need, if you have a 55, 6, 7 GMC, I think this is 457. But anyway, if you have a 57, 56, 55 GMC with the mustache, right there it is. I don't need it. I've sold my 57 GMC truck. I sure would like to let somebody else have this and make good use of it because I don't need it. I really don't. I think there's one, there's one, two, three, four pieces, four, maybe five. I'm going to say four. I'd rather somebody be mildly surprised as, as not. So anyway, I'm going to say there's four GMC pieces for a mustache to make a complete mustache on a GMC truck. If you're not familiar with that, just look up 55, six or seven GMCs and you'll see the mustache where the Chevrolet truck in the front didn't have it, the GMCs did. These are the wheels. Uh, th what I was getting at is this truck is turned into a catch-all. I've got a bunch of boxes, empty boxes. And uh, in order to get parts and stuff, I, I periodically sell stuff when I, whenever I can, just like I'd like to sell that GMC stuff. So anyway, these are the wheels that are going to go on the blue and white C10 truck uh, over at Tim Dixon's at Gas X Chop Shop on Facebook. You can see that truck there or look back at some of my older videos from not, not too long ago and you'll see it. But the wheels that's on the blue and white Chevy truck now, the C10, are the ones that I'm going to put on the white 78 uh, Chevy Cheyenne truck that's over there that doesn't have a motor and transmission. But Tim and Corey are going to put one in it for me out of my old four-wheel drive truck. I'm just saying all this in case you just stumbled across my channel. I'm, I'm not trying to bore bore you to death. But uh, anyway, I'm going to do a lot of swapping around. So anyway, this is getting back to this truck. Uh, I, I, I think I told you I've had this like a year, a year, over a year, January 19th is when I got this truck. I uh, got it from Brian. I traded a 69 C10 truck, short bed, fleet side, for this truck. And I really like this truck a lot. It runs good when it's not on fire. <laughs> but uh, I've had Angie Dixon at Gas X Chop Shop. Uh, she redone the seat for me and done a bang up job. I know I've said that before. Put me a cover lay dash on this truck. It looks really good. A whole lot better than it did, for sure. Really like Coverlay products. Might get me some door panels sometime. I, I don't know yet. As you know, I'll put some on my 79 Chevy truck that we have named Ruby. It's in the backyard, but it's just so dang muddy here. No need in getting nothing out. But it's got tilt. It's got the original radio in it. And the clock still works when the battery's hooked up. Uh, it's just a really good... Really good running truck. I I like it a lot. And uh, I have, since I got the truck, I have put these wheels and tires on it. Uh, these are 245-50-20s. And these are, in the back, 285-50-20s. And these, these wheels and tires are used. I look for used stuff. And I got these from a friend of mine that had them for sale. I asked him if he had any wheels, and he said he had these. He bought them for his truck, but they, some reason they wouldn't work out. So I told him I'd be interested in them. So he called me the next day, and he said, they're just not going to work. said, if you want them, you know, I'll sell them to you. So I bought them. They're Riddlers, by the way, in case I didn't tell you that. Uh, since I, I've done that, since I got the truck, lowered it. Put these bumper guards on. Sorry for my dirty hands. I've been kind of cleaning up before Brian gets here. Put a new uh, deflector, air deflector dam or whatever you want to call it on it. The other one had been uh, scraped up, dinged up, cracked up. So I'll put another one on it. Uh, of course, I've put Penetrol on it. And it needs another coat because uh, I've got a few streaks here and there that I'd like to fix. And I've done that last fall. Just a real quick job. 
wasn't really trying to didn't do my best work i don't think i, I, don't, I was going to tell you too this truck uh this, this is i haven't patented this truck at all that's just the way it is when i got the truck and i've seen i don't know what it is maybe you have seen it as well but i have uh sorry i have seen trucks this same color with the same ailment i'll say as the paint getting real thin on top you know the red i forgot the correct color for this red but i've seen it i've seen them where the paint's coming off like that too so i think that might have been a common problem with these of course i'm not complaining i love this look i love it that's why i'm trying to preserve it of course the silver's coming off down here i have a trying to think of all the things that i have done to this truck Besides lowering it, uh, Tim Dixon at Gas Axe Chop Shop done this lowering kit for me. Bought a kit, put it on. And uh, Tim put dual exhaust on it for me. Uh, run them out. The, I like them run out this way. I put this what I call sport bumper on it. It had the step, you know, regular al aluminum chrome-like step that you step up in. I, I really like this style bumper better. I'm not going to tow anything, so this... It just makes it look a little more tucked up and neat. Painted this tailgate. The tailgate was black. You can go back some of my older videos and see when I first got this truck. Tailgate was black and I've went to Walmart and got the closest shade of red I could and painted it and then I scuffed it up to try to make it look old. I put this piece here on too. I found a better one, friend of mine. It's good to have friends. Like I said earlier, it's good to have friends. Friend of mine had one that was in better shape than what was on this truck. I bought new tail light lens just to I'll stand back so just to kind of brighten it up just a little bit. The tail light lens were really dull. And I was trying to, I'll just call it kind of spruce up the back end a little bit with some and they were they were just like twenty, twenty dollars, twenty-two dollars on eBay. Not much. Plus, with these tail lights, uh, you can go with or without this trim aluminum trim which this truck was is a silverado so need that trim so uh what else have i done i know i've done more but i can't remember but anyway this old truck is uh what i call a shop truck it's got dings it's got dents it's got scrapes the paint's thin on it and i've got these mirrors tucked in because it's hard to get in the garage when the mirrors are all the way opened up where you can actually see sorry for the plane every time i do a video there's a plane i think they do flying lessons anyway uh i have to tuck them in in order to get it in the garage but uh i was trying to think of some more stuff i've done of course the usual stuff change oil blah 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 but i guess best i can remember that's about it it runs and drives good when uh I just I guess I just had a little short in it in the electrical part and I'm not an electrician. I'm not really good at anything except spending money I don't have. No, I'm just kidding. I I, I like patina kind of look and I try to replicate it every chance I get it for something I bought, but this truck just was just naturally this way, so that's another reason why I liked it. The other thing I liked about this truck, but besides a well, if I can get the hood open. There we go. Hang on. <laughs> well, as I said, the clock works. It still has the original AM FM radio in it. I like that. And it's still got the original jack. Uh, uh, pretty much uh, the truck is intact. I mean, it's dirty. I haven't cleaned the engine. I haven't done nothing because I get sidetracked on other trucks that I have or, or helping somebody else on their truck sometimes. So when I'm called upon to do that, so anyway, it's pretty much all here. And I, I just kind of like, just kind of like the look of it. So we just traded trucks and I've been happy ever since other than until that little small fire. And I'm sure it's just something simple. I don't know. Brian will figure it out. He's smarter than I am. Anyway, if you found this video, uh, enjoyable to watch uh, please give me a big old thumbs up please subscribe to my channel that would mean a whole lot and if you have 
any old trucks or cars like this or something that you're working on, believe me, I enjoy looking at it. It's, it's a real treat for me. I enjoy it. Please go to my Instagram, Primered is Best. It's all one word, Primered is Best, one word. And I'm on Facebook as well, Primered is Best. And uh, as I said, I, I hate to even show you the bed, but it's just turned into a catch-all. But that's what happens in the wintertime months. This, you just throw everything in it. Closest thing, the easiest thing to throw a box in, and that was a bit of this truck. So, But I got to take them wheels over to Tim sometime real soon, and I'll be cleaning all this stuff up. It's just no. If it ever gets warm weather and quits raining, I can maybe get some stuff done. But uh, anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. As I said, thanks for listening to somebody ramble on about probably about nothing. If you like the truck, let me know. As I said, the name of the truck is Big Red. That's what uh, I, I normally ask people on YouTube to help me name my vehicles. So I think that's the name that we come up with was Big Red. Now, I've got that white Cheyenne, that 78 over at Tim's, and I'm going to have a motor and transmission put in. I, that's going to need a name. And my 75 C10, the blue and white one, that's going to need a name. But I'm going to wait till I get them home before I name them because it's going to go through some changes, and once we get done, the name might not fit the truck. So, anyway, I just thought I'd show you my old 84 Silverado truck. I'm awful proud to have it. And uh, as I said, hey, thanks for watching. I, I get long-winded. Y'all have a great day. I hope it's sunshiny where you're at. And I hope y'all st uh, staying safe, and I'll catch you next video. Y'all have a great day. See you later.